Okay, so in this tutorial it's going to be much faster than the last one. We're just going to go through these screens, um, add in some other cool effects. So let's go to screen 2. And what we're going to do with this one is we want to duplicate this. So click on that and hit, uh, hit BG and then we'll name this one um, Stripes. So I'm going to show you how to create some cool stripes using an effect called Venetian Blind. So have those stripes there and we'll give them a different color as well. So let's go and grab maybe a, a light blue kind of greeny color, something like that. Um, a bit lighter like even. And hit OK. And then go to Effects and Presets. If this isn't open, go to Window and then select Effects and Presets and it'll pop up. And then what you want to type in is Venetian. Venetian blinds like so. Okay, so grab this one and drop it onto stripes. And then what you want to do is grab the direction, and you can make it any direction you like. I'm going to put it about, say, about minus 90 degrees or 90 degrees, and then drag this out. And you'll be able to see that it creates these lines. So for this background color here, I want to make this a little bit lighter, a different kind of color. Um, let's go with, let's see what kind of color we can get something like that that was quite good okay so for the stripes click on the stripes again and we can make the width even bigger for the stripes um, and we can go ahead and make the stripes however we like them um, I'm gonna go with something like this for now just to show you how you can create those stripes um, play along with them as much as you want and you can go ahead and change the colors up Let's choose something that looks even better um, I'm just gonna stay with what I had okay so now what we can do is get the text tool again um, add in some more text and hit control enter once you've uh, typed in your text get the selection tool and place it on the screen it's a little bit big so I'm gonna go to the character panel over here and click and drag to the left and we'll bring this across like so okay so I'm gonna show you a quick a technique on how you can actually get a writing effect for this text so let's go and bring this uh, tool this timeline indicator onto zero seconds and drop these down, drop, and when you come to animate, click on that and click on opacity. Bring it to 0% on the range selector and range selector 1, drop it down, click on offset and bring it to about maybe about 3 seconds and click and bring it over. So now you'll be able to see if I just bring this up a bit, you'll be able to see that this text kind of writes on like someone's typing in. And you can use this effect on, like, for search bars if you're going to search some, like, have a search bar and have some text in there. Um, it's a really cool effect you can use for that. So if we go back to Final Movie, you'll be able to see that we've got a nice looking screen there with some stripes in there. We've got our first one, like so. And there we go. So jump on to the next video. I'm going to show you how to create some bubbles in the background on the next screen. And we'll continue creating our iPad video.